once again, here we are with another edition of Inside the Headset. I got on the phone with me a very exciting coach and a, 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 a winning coach right now, head coach Moore K. Raiders. Head coach Jason Dobbs. How you doing, Coach Dobbs? I'm doing good. How about yourself, Stuart? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Well, uh, it's been kind of a topsy-turvy season. I really don't think you are 2-7. and seven. We take out that one... Uh, Deal where you kind of walked out. We didn't. We didn't really find out whether you were a winner or a loser in that game. Then you take uh, the couple of the heartbreakers. We kind of mix it around. You could be. Uh, you could be five and five. Uh, you know, five and five. Could you coach and, and looking to be in the playoffs? Yeah, you know we. Uh, that's that's the story with a young team. You know, you just uh, you get in position and situations where you feel like you should have won and. You know, a couple things go the other way, and just that's the way the ball bounces for you sometimes. Well, but, uh, uh, you know, go guys ahead, go keep ahead. playing hard, and guys keep playing hard, and doing everything I ask them to do, and they're very coachable. And you know, we're headed in the right direction. It's just going to take time. Well, I mean, uh, you know, from game one to right now, you're, you're leaning in on game ten, and you know, you only got a couple of days left, and and and, and you know, you're going to play this last game. There's you will not be going to the playoffs and everything, but uh, how is that? I mean, I mean, talk to us a little bit about that. That's kind of rough to tell you know kids. Hey, after Friday night, it, it, it's over, kids. Yeah, it's been a it's been a rough week this week, you know, because some of the seniors, you know, I don't have any. I got three on the team that that contribute quite a bit, and you know, they're they're down in the dumps, and you know, you just continue to try to preach character to them and make them understand what they're trying to build and what we're trying to build here and, and uh, make them feel a part as much as you can. Well, I mean, they were the start of it. I mean, they kind of got to feel good. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't following Moore County in the previous years, but apparently they wasn't doing very good or, or you wouldn't be there. Um, but based on what little I know, but, you know, they got to feel good that, you know, hey, you know, it had to start somewhere and you've only got – the only direction you got to go is up. Yeah, that's true, Stork. You know, it's traditionally Moore County has been a very good program, and, and you know they just over the years. I don't know. They've been through a lot of coaching change, a lot of instability, and that's what I'm trying to bring back and trying to preach to them. And uh, I took my seniors out to dinner last night, and we sat down and we good. talked about it. And, good. You know, that's I just tried to stress to them that they're as much part of this as anybody else and any success we have in the future is because of the foundation that they laid and and you know it, it, I understand you know I've been there and this is kind of a new boat to me because you know I, I'm i still coaching them just like I did day one and you know one of my assistant coaches said some of those guys are like why is he pushing us so hard does he not know that we're not in the playoffs and I'm like you know that's, that's the only way I know is wide open and and, you know, I kind of stepped back today. We did a little different practice and had a lot of fun out there, and they really enjoyed it. And, you know, and, that, and a lot of times you step back and you think, you know, you were a kid once, and, and you got to make things enjoyable for them, and, and we did that. And, you know, I continue to try to find ways to motivate them, and, and you know, it is what it is, you know. It's tough on me as it is them, but. We'll uh, we'll push through it and we'll continue to get better. Well, and I mean, learning to be a leader as well as learning to be a follower, and and, and you know, uh, you know, you followed for many years, and now when you get the reins in your hands, it's just like you know, uh, it, it, there's so many people that can say start the clock, stop the clock on a Friday night, but when you set them in front of that console and say, okay, these buttons work this and this does this, so be ready, watch the guy in the white hat, he's running the show, so. When he cranks his arm, you know, and then, you know, it's on a running play and they're stopping the clock and you're trying to say, why are you stopping the clock? It's a running play. Let the clock run. You know, it's it's some of the things that when you get those people in those, those type of positions, they don't realize you only got about 20, 25 seconds to make a decision and call the next play. Yeah, it's it's been a, it's been a very humbling experience for me, you know, this year because like I say, I've been I've been the guy that's kind of been in the back, just coaching the position and and helping coordinate some offense and stuff. And now when it all falls on your shoulders, you're like, golly, I haven't even thought about this or I hadn't thought about that or, you know, it, it brings a lot more to the table. 
and uh, it's been fun. And you know, I got a great group of guys, got a great group of assistant coaches. You know, and we work. And you know, I was able to bring up my eighth graders, so I got Good. quite a few of them up, and they've they've had a big time. And matter of fact, I've had a couple of them playing. You know, quite a bit on Friday nights, and. You know, that's only the future. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Coach. Uh, looking back, you know, going back to July coming up now, if you could share anything with a coach, uh, a new incoming coach, because I'm sure there'll be some of them coming in. Maybe one of them might be watching the show or thinking about doing what you did, and that is, you know, making making the, making the step to becoming a head coach and going off. If you could have done anything, if you could give any piece of advice or go back to week when you first got there at Moore County, what piece of advice could you give people that are thinking about, that are coaching, they're thinking about becoming a head coach, what was the aha moment or, oh, I didn't know that? Uh, the biggest thing, you know, Stork, is you got to surround yourself with good people, which I've been fortunate enough to be able to do that. And, and you got to enjoy what you're doing. If you don't enjoy it, you know, it, it, it's long, hard days and a lot of restless nights. And, you know, there's a lot of things that that you don't think about as an assistant that you got to cover, where, whether it's dealing with administration, dealing with parents, dealing with, you know, kids, you know, on a daily basis where as a position coach, that kind of stuff goes to the head coach and, you know, it, it's as long as you enjoy what you're doing, you, you don't ever look back. But right. and that's the biggest thing. You know, if if there comes a time when I don't enjoy it and I don't like being around the people I'm around and and I can't deal with the kids, then it'll be time to find something else to do. But right now, that's not the case. And you know, you got to kind of be a dad. You got to be a coach. You got to be a motivator. You got to be. You got to be man. You know, you, you, you wear many different hats as a head coach, and and uh, that's been the biggest thing that's kind of caught me off guard. You know, I kind of expect some of it, but some of it's just like it's something all the time, and you got to be able to deal with it and be able to handle it and be able to leave it when you go home. You know, your family don't want to deal with that. They don't want to hear your horror stories from the day and, and just be a dad when you get home or a husband and rock on, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, so the wife and everything, she, is she enjoying the environment of Moore County? Is it okay? I mean, has that been a good good uh, segue for you? Yes, yeah, she, you know, as I said, my son, he's playing for me at the, he's moved up, playing varsity, and my wife's in full support. My family, I don't think either one of them's missed a single game this year, that being my mom and dad or my wife. And, you know, as long as you got that support and, and she understands, you know, it's 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 tough being a wife of a husband, oh. you know, a wife of a head coach, you know. So you gotta you gotta you gotta remember what they look like because they're gone all the time. You know, that's just well, that's part, right. You know, that's just part of it. Well, uh, coach, our last uh, our last uh, uh, coaching show. I can't thank you enough. You know, it's your first year, but uh, we'll do it again next year. And uh, I have a feeling that. Uh, uh, some Friday night here real soon, I'll hear this voice in the background like I did when I was at Maryville, and it, it, I'll turn around and it'll be you screaming at, the, screaming at one of the officials or something to call it, call it fair, call it both ways. I hear you. I appreciate it. All righty, I'll see you soon. Thank you much. All righty, bye. bye.